These are all made for uh, government contracts. So these are for very specific military purposes. So um, I never really hid the fact that I'm a massive, massive unapologetic fan of guys like Triggers. However, I'll be honest to say, I was not too familiar with how extensively involved they were at making rifles. So, we got some uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces of machinery on the table right now. We do. Um, so, you want to kind of walk me through what, what, what you guys have going on as far as the, the rifle department is concerned? Would love to. So, okay. we'll start out with uh, our newest, smallest uh, configuration. Uh, it's in our one of our backpacks right now, and it is our personal <laughs> defense weapon size. Wow. This is a 5.56. Five, okay. Uh, this is, these are all made for uh, government contracts. So these are for very specific military purposes. Uh, as with everything we design and develop for the military, the amount of time and investment we put into the operating system. Okay on how it's gassed, on every aspect of this weapon to optimize uh, the, the uh, characteristics of it and the consistency of it. It is a fine shooting uh, rifle. Gotcha. Uh, one that we were shooting on Monday targets out to 400 meters with, with an eight inch barrel. That's what so I was gonna ask you. <laughs> it's a very compact package for a very specific role and yet very capable out to distances you wouldn't anticipate with such a small rifle. Yeah, understatement of the year. <laughs> and so, I mean, this is Geisley ground up through and through. Everything, there's nothing. Every Everything we've designed and developed has been developed for a military requirement, military need. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of, uh, we work very closely with factions of Special Operations Command and Department of Defense. And so all of these are built very mission specific. Gotcha. Uh, truly, at the end of the day, where a rifle can't fail. So a lot has gone in, a lot of investment, effort, energy has gone into the development of a very reliable, very accurate operating system. That is awesome. I like this little bad guy. <laughs> Next up, this is uh, one of our, this is a six millimeter arc. This is a, a new cartridge developed by Hornady for Special Operations Command. Now, Basic, when, you, when you say new, we're talking what? Brand new like, within the last within the last 12 months. Oh wow! Uh, this basically is a requirement that came down by Special Operations for a rifle to replace a 308 caliber semi-automatic rifle, gotcha. with a need to reduce weight mm -hmm. and extend the range or capability of that 308 cartridge. So Hornady developed a beautiful cartridge called Six Millimeter Arc. Okay. Uh, and uh, once we got once we got invited to build and develop a rifle around that cartridge, we learned real quick that we had to build an entire rifle, not just augment an existing rifle. So uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into development of this rifle to support the cartridge. Gotcha. So I know people are gonna ask, like, with this platform, six millimeter arc, what, what, is the, what does the six millimeter arc do that's better than the 308? So, Compared to a 308, which is a military, very common military caliber for in a, a semi-automatic rifle, uh -huh. this package, what you're seeing right here, uh, basically provides an, a capability that is greater or farther than a 308 caliber okay. at half the weight. So by the by, special operations going to this rifle, they've essentially reduced the weight requirement in half, but extended the range out to 1,300 meters. So. Jesus. It's mind boggling. It's a very fun gun to shoot. And again, we've got a, an incredible amount of proprietary gas uh, system design built into the rifle, okay. along with geometry to uh, facilitate very smooth, reliable feeding of the cartridge into the chamber, which at the end of the day provides a very soft shooting rifle, uh, a rifle that I can shoot a target at, at extended ranges, see the impact, self correct, and re engage before yeah, so you. You're not getting that that the, the 308 disturbance exactly. in the optic. Exactly. Okay. It's a beautiful rifle. Uh, it's a rifle. This has become my new favorite caliber, my new favorite rifle, and there's nothing more fun to shoot. I know you were just watching the video. I just want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Euro Optic. Right now they are killing it with their red shipping program. So thank you, Euro Optic, for supporting the channel. I mean, I like the name, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the six millimeter arc, to be honest. It's brand new. Okay. It's brand new. And the terminal effects of the projectile uh -huh. is dramatically increases lethality for our combat forces, Person. far exceeding the capability of the current 308 caliber projectile. So gotcha. it, it, it's a it's a win-win-win 
and, and every and and I'm confident you're going to see a lot more of this caliber and a lot more of this rifle, definitely within special operations, but throughout Department of Defense, I'm very confident. Gotcha. The third uh, lane we've kind of worked on again uh -huh. exclusively with Special Operations Command is uh, again focus on the 308 caliber cartridge and the need to to exceed its capabilities to extend the range of our military snipers. Okay. Special Operations put out requirements uh, that re that looked at a new caliber design, 6.5 Creedmoor, and so they had some very uh, arduous requirements for a semi-automatic rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor with a one MOA accuracy capability out to 1,500 meters. Uh, and uh, what you see there is our configuration for that government contract. What's the barrel length on this? The barrel length on this is 20 inches. 20 inches, okay. Uh, and again, that gets that gets the cartridge at the right muzzle velocity to get me at those extended ranges. This is going to be the new sniper support rifle uh, for military special operations to support the snipers in their offensive and defensive roles. Mm, got it. I just love the beefiness of the six five platform. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. So whether so whether it be 5.56 in a 5.56 in a backpack, mm -hmm. or if it's a six millimeter arc in a rifle, the size and weight of their uh, M4 rifles, or if it's a 6.5 Creedmoor in a very rugged, very reliable 6.5 Creedmoor semi-automatic sniper rifle, uh, we, we can provide it all. I see, absolutely. So I'm noticing a bit of a bedazzlement and bejewel here, um, this kind of little O-ring. What, what is the purpose of that? I mean, I, my, I know what my mind tells me it is, but. So I, it, it's interesting you picked up on that. That is basically to ruggedize this rail to a lot of, a, a lot of the, the uh, use of these weapons includes or utilizes a sling. Okay. And that's a sling capture uh, point that, that in, it increases the strength, reliability, so that it, the sling being put, taken on and off won't degrade the aluminum. It. Gotcha. And as far as uh, proprietary, on the six millimeter arc magazine wise, um, what, what, what are we looking at? Is it? So that's another thing we found going down this path, building a six millimeter arc rifle, we, we learned that there was no good commercially available magazine. So okay. we basically had to develop our own. Mm -hmm. uh, we found magazine, we found a design that worked. We improved upon that design and each mag, and we make them ourselves. So okay. each magazine now goes through many, many, many steps just to ensure that that magazine is gives us the level of reliability that, that we know our customer is going to demand. Gotcha. And so as far as availability to the public, um, which one of these platforms are going to be available to the public? Uh, uh, the one you've had, got in your hand, the 6.5 Creedmoor uh, immediately, the 6 millimeter ARC immediately. Okay. And the oh. PDW is available immediately to government because okay. it's a short barreled rifle and a machine gun. Uh, but uh, as I appreciate we're, we're, this is going to be in a pistol configuration as well, gotcha. as well okay. and available to the masses. Awesome. Well, definitely look forward to that, uh, to say the least. I think of the three, I think I like the 6.5, but I don't have any experience with the 6 millimeter arc, so I'm kind of shooting blindly here. That, shooting the 6 millimeter arc will change you. It's a religious yes. experience that will alter your mindset, I really? promise you. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna hold you to that. Well, well, thank you very, very much. My pleasure. Much appreciated. Thank you for taking the time out so I can show some of this beautiful mechanical sexiness. But um, much appreciated. My pleasure. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.